It's Cape Chronicle. I'm Jacob McClellan. Cape Girardeau Police will soon be able to issue tickets electronically. Here to talk about this and other new developments for the Cape PD is Officer Darren Hickey. Thanks for coming by to talk with us. It's good to be back. Well, first, let's talk about this, this e-ticketing program. Uh, well, first off, what, what are we talking about when we're talking about e-tickets? Well, the way we'd write tickets now is with just a paper copy. Um, and we use that for court summonses, for traffic tickets. Um, and this new process is going to basically take the paper out of the officer's hands and subsequently eventually help with our data entry. What, uh, what type of equipment will, will officers need in order to, to issue electronic tickets? Um, we're going to be purchasing a uh, small computer, handheld computer with a small thermal printer that will be in the car with the officers. Uh, they'll be able to scan the barcodes on the back of the driver's license, which automatically imports the data from the driver's license onto the computer device. Um, then the ordinances and statutes will be built into the system and they'll be able to you know, pick and choose which ordinance, which statute, uh, which violation that they're going to be issuing the citation or summons for and then print that citation out in the car. Um, with that is going to allow for, like I said, the data entry uh, is going to be minimized across the board from the very beginning all the way to the courts. What's this? What's this? You said it's a, it's a small computer, basically, mm -hmm. that they have that they'll be able to take with them. Does it look like a small iPhone or something like it, that? It's uh, comparable to like um, what you know you see at Walmart, or okay. you know when they're scanning barcodes mm -hmm. on on items. It's just a small handheld computer. It's about uh, five or six inches tall and and a few inches wide. So it's it's going to be pretty uh, a small platform for the officer to carry around and have to keep in the car. What are the benefits of this? Um, time savings is the big t is the, is the is the big benefit. You know, right now officers are having to spend several minutes on the side of the road, and studies are done every year where officers are killed or injured out of their car on the side of the road. You know, people passing by, and so we're trying to minimize that uh, the the time that the officers are having to spend on the side of the road. But then we're also going to try to minimize the data entry. Right now, when a summons or a court ticket or a traffic violation is written. Our records, police records clerk, have to enter that, enter that into our data system. Then it has to be sent to a prosecutor, physically carried over there by someone. Then he has to physically sign off on it. Then it has to be carried down to the court system. Then they take that ticket and manually enter the data into their system. And then it has to eventually get back to our records management system. Well, at that point, the citation still has to be entered into the state system um, for upload into the, the state records. So we're talking lots of data entry. Well, with a computer-based system, these interfaces are going to be written to where each computer is talking to each other and then eventually talk to the state, so all that data entry goes away. So it sounds like it's a, a, a big efficiency improvement here and a, and a lot more time for officers to not necessarily be filling out paperwork but you know, providing services. Right, yeah. The, you know, that's the, all the goal is, is to try to you know, um, link, shorten the time that they're going to have to do this then they have more time to where we can patrol, where we can offer more services, where we can, you know, be out and, and not tied up doing paperwork. And, you know, similar with the laptop program, we're trying to minimize that time of, of data entry and administrative paperwork to where we can actually do more enforcement time. Now, will every uh, police officer have um, have one of these one of these scanners that you're talking about? Yeah, we're we're real fortunate. We're we're getting some grant money from Missouri Highway Safety uh, to help with this program, and uh, we're going to be able to purchase a, about 43 devices. Uh, these devices will be permanently assigned to our traffic division, uh, our nuisance abatement and animal control, and then there will be a checkout system for our patrol guys to where they can check out a device and everybody on the street can have one. Um, they'll have a printer and the device together uh, and so they'll stay charged and we we'll always have one ready for them. Is this a pretty easy system to use as well? Maybe not as much training as, the, as, as, as maybe the laptops or something like that? Yeah, this, this system is really user friendly. I mean, the, the, one of the the vendors that we're looking at has been around for years and they've minimized it to where it's very, very user friendly. It's just check boxes, you know, drop down boxes uh, and the devices have a stylus so they can use them. They have a touch screen as well. Uh, let's, let's talk a little bit about uh, the Cape Girardeau Police Department um, like trying to locate more officers in, in, in high crime areas right now and, 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 and how you're going about doing that. Yeah, our police chief, uh, Wes Blair, he He's uh, really working with some, some other agencies and local uh, agencies in our area. And, uh, you know, we've, we've had some shootings recently and some, some violent crimes. And so we, we took a long, hard look 
at the locations and the crimes that we were having. Um, we've utilized and made contact with the Cape Girardeau County Sheriff's Department and the Missouri Highway Patrol and we're strategically and sporadically putting extra guys uh, in these high crime areas. Uh, we've been successful, we've been doing it for a couple of weeks now and we've been successful. We've you know, gotten a couple of guns off the street and, and arrested some guys in, uh, in the process of crimes. So we've been real successful at this and you know, we hope to continue this for the next couple of months uh, by putting these guys in these high crime areas. Let's talk briefly about um, some stalker training that um, that Cape Charter police officers went through recently. What 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 did you, what were, are some of the changes that we've seen in in, in stalking over the last uh, over the last decade? Or yeah, so? it's kind of like yeah. what we were talking about. Technology is what's what has you know really increased uh, in everything, and it's also increased with violators as well. Um, we had stalking the safe house for women brought in a stalking expert. Uh, from St. Louis and we trained our officers as well as Cape Girardeau County, I think it was Charleston, um, uh, several agencies throughout Southeast Missouri came to this and listened to this, uh, this speaker and he talked a lot about technology and, and how stalkers are using technology to track victims and, and track their, uh, uh, the people that they're watching and, and it was very eye-opening. Uh, he also talked a lot about um, the investigative side of it as well as you know testifying in court and, and how we can get a better conviction rate. We've been talking with Cape Girardeau Police Officer Darren Hickey. Thank you so much for coming by to talk with us. Thanks for having me. Thank you for joining us today for Cape Chronicle. The program is a collaboration between the Department of Mass Media at Southeast Missouri State University, the City of Cape Girardeau, and KRCU, the public radio station for Southeast Missouri. Our executive producer is Jim Dufek. I'm Jacob McClellan. Thanks for watching. Thank you.